We've got a hydraulic system. We do have the landing gear and the main hydraulic system built. So she's finally got blood in her. The hydraulics are one of those systems that it's milestone. Okay, this machine's alive now. So that's pretty exciting. It means that the aircraft is moving under its own power. And that's pretty neat to see. That hasn't happened in a long time. Not for this ship. We're gonna go through and we're gonna adjust the, the whole landing gear and we haven't actually tested any of this stuff really yet, so it'll be interesting. Jamie? Yeah? I'm gonna build some pressure up in the system. Okay, go ahead and start pumping. It's a reasonably simple system. There's not a lot of hydraulic functions on this aircraft. So trying to make old components that use seals that aren't available is a little tricky. Okay, slow down. Oh. Okay. A little bit more. Okay, a little more. Apparently you can make old stuff new again, hey? Hydraulics opens up a lot of options for us as far as you know future work and you know what needs to be done. A lot of systems have been waiting for this. Well hey, it worked. There's a lot of parts, but the, all the original components are there. We rebuilt all those components, made new parts, internal pieces, that sort of things to make them all serviceable. And lo and behold, first try it all worked. So that's that's kind of cool. I was pretty excited about that. Okay, you ready to go up and down one more time? Yeah. Okay. We were cycling up the pump, getting all the air out of it, basically really double checking all the landing gear and running through a good cycle of that. I'm Spencer LaPointe and I'm an AME uh, aircraft mechanic, an apprentice. I've been involved with my dad a lot with doing uh, flying airplanes and being around the, the company and I just kind of got to the point where I want to be a part of it. Let's hang a gear door, Spencer. Gotcha. We haven't actually fit our main landing gear doors yet. This is the first time we've actually seen them. We've had the gear complete and we've had enough of the parts made that we can actually do an install and see how it fits. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there. Okay. And then we'll run the gear up and see what it looks like. Okay. Gear's going up. Okay, slow down. Okay, now go slow. Okay. Okay, it's getting stiff. Oh, it latched. It's not terrible. A little trimming. Gotta do some tweaking yet. Okay. Well, it's gotta go up a bit. Okay. What about there? Quarter inch or so. Okay. Aircraft mechanics in the past were called fitters for a reason, and it's because nothing fit, right? So what we got to do is we got to install it, and you know, every time we run it up, we get them a little closer because you know we don't want them too tight, and you know, just trying to get rid of all the gaps and try and see where we, we got issues and, and correct for it. Another ten or so more times, and we'll have her right nailed. It is a little tricky some days, you know. You you go in and you see the landing gear and three or four different doors opening up and then we have to adjust this and if we adjust that part then that goes off. You know, you just kind of keep going through it. We're too tight in the back. This door has never been made it up to this aircraft before, so you know we had a small spot we got to trim, and that was a replaced skin that we weren't sure where that skin was going to end up, so no problem trimming that off. So it's very important that you get these things really straight. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've seen it in its worst condition, and now I'm beginning to see it in its best condition. I got my son working on the airplane. I'm kind of proud about that. He's taking a real interest in it. That's important to me. My dad's taught me lots of good things and he's got that passion for it. I'm still trying to find my passion a little bit with life because I'm, I'm young, but uh, watching him with that uh, inspires me to find my passion. The gear door looks good. Yeah, right? It's yeah. Uh, kind of the first fit. Yeah, it's good. Well, they're tough. I haven't actually seen it with the tire yet. Might be a little tight there. Okay, stop. Hold it, Spence. Yeah. You don't want it that too tight though. Well, I don't know exactly. There's going to be a lot of air blast in there. 
So what was happening was the, the small doors weren't opening far enough to clear the tire properly. No, you need it about there. Yeah. It needs to be, yeah. Okay, keep going. You went about there. Yeah. Well, good, good locks. Yeah, locks work. You need to get another quarter inch here. Yeah, is it the right actuator? I'm sure it is. Is it the one that was with it, eh? Yeah, yeah. It's got all the fittings. Yeah. We haven't actually been able to operate the gear doors yet. That was actually the first time we've really had them installed. So figuring out the rod length on the actuator, you kind of need to install it and prove it. And to be honest, I didn't even know that would have been an issue. Until you install a part and actually get to function it, you really don't know 100% whether it's going to work. And in that case, I was quite confident that, you know, we wouldn't have had a problem. But turns out we do. So off of the photo. From old photos, we dug out and did a little bit of math based on a photo and it told us that, you know, we're basically three quarters of an inch too short. So the actuator body is the correct part number. We don't know the part number of the rod that's inside it, but we do know that the rod's too short. So, and that kind of proves it there. Well, we have to make them up. Yeah. We got one small setback, but that's not a big deal. The nice thing is, is we know we have the setback now, right? So that door is open. Uh, we know where there's a solution. It's just a matter of getting there. It's cool watching the team too, different parts of the team win and then get some frustration. And then we all come in and we help out. There's not always a solution that quickly, but that's the name of the game is, you know, however we can come to the correct solution and have it safe is the primary goal, right? So. Sometimes it's easier than others. Sometimes it's more challenging. We've got so many resources here, it's really second to none. So, you know, to be able to just make a new rod for inside an actuator is, is not a big deal to us.